I'm talking with Erica Schultz, Chief Practitioner and Founder of Paramount Wellness. She has not one, but two practices in different states and somehow manages to have more energy than most of the people I know. Erica is going to share some of the hidden causes behind unresolved health concerns. There's about five of them and how you can take better control of your health. Yeah. So Erica, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to learn about health today. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Crystal. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. So five health unresolved health concern reasons for them. Yeah. Um, so what's number one? Number one. Okay, so let's get right into it. So there's, yes. I, I look at five different reasons why people's health is not resolving. And these are reasons that most people aren't familiar with. They're not exactly reasons that you'll be able to come across on the internet, if you will. Ooh, so the first deep. one is has to deal with the nervous system. Okay. So a lot of times when people are getting stopped up in progress uh, with their health concerns, it has something to do with the nervous system. Now the nervous system is king in healing, in terms of healing. So a nervous system that's being stressed out by something or not regulating properly will oftentimes be one of the missing links as to why health is not resolving. So what is the nervous system? Really quick, if yeah, you can. Yeah, the nervous system has to do with two components. Uh, the, I call it the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Okay. Now the gas pedal is in charge of kind of how you are day to day in, the, in, the, in your life. Um, it's called oftentimes the sympathetic nervous system. Okay. Okay. The brake pedal is what's called the parasympathetic nervous system, which acts more like a governor for healing as well as resting and digesting. So the thing that you want to have in terms of a healthy nervous system is you want the, the gas pedal to work effectively with the brake pedal. Mm -hmm. So just like your car, if you put the, your, your foot on the gas and you put the foot on the brake, the car's not going to go. Mm -hmm. So what you want is that the car, the, that the gas pedal and the brake pedal are regulating well okay. and that in turn allows the body to heal properly and do better in terms of adapting to its environment. So that's yeah. number one. A healthy nervous system is really important to healing. Okay. And I bet to energy as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime your nervous system is doing well, you just adapt to your envi environment more effectively. Okay. And it's a big reason in terms of why some people who have even tried to do things with their health may have been stopped up or may have even gotten worse on a particular healing intervention. Mm -hmm. And in our clinic, we're able to identify what would be the cause for a nervous system not to regulate properly. Okay. Yeah. And so what's number two? Number two is confusion about diet. So I get a lot of people in my office who have uh, tried to work out what they should be eating on their own. Mm -hmm. um, some people have done good work in terms of eliminating foods that they think are problematic. And sometimes they get better for a while and feel better for a while. But then over time, what happens is they may not, that might not resolve their issue fully. Mm -hmm. So in my clinic, we get clear on one, are there any foods that are causing problems for the body? Um, and uh, we can figure out what those foods are directly. Okay. This saves a lot of time for people because sometimes people trying to just eliminate things from their diet one thing at yes. a time. It can take months, it can be really challenging, it can be really unclear. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes I get people in my clinic who have really tried a good attempt at that, may have had a little bit of success, but still are not resolving in terms of still not feeling yeah. well, um, something's still off. And so through the testing procedures I use, we can figure out what is the food that might be causing problem right. for the body and just kind of get laser focused in it. Yeah, and I bet there's a lot of people that were like, I read this book and it said that I should eat like this. <laughs> Absolutely, there's all sorts of diets out there yes. and advice on what you should be doing with your food and your diet. The reality is, is that everybody's diet is as unique as their fingerprint. Mm -hmm. um, so what you should be eating versus what you should not be eating, what that person who wrote, authored that book about the perfect diet, there is no perfect diet for yeah. any, for everyone. Uh, you really got to figure out what's the right diet for you and then, you know, get in the habit of eating it. And mm -hmm. most people find that once they figure that out because of the return on their investment, so to speak, in terms of eating the right foods. Yeah. Um, it's really simple to make some of those dietary changes because you feel better yeah. and you're clear on it. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. So we're on to number three. Number three. Oh boy. Taking, we kind of just talked about this a little bit, taking uh, supplements or health advice that's not suited for your body. Okay. So you kind of alluded to it a moment ago, spending hours on the internet, Googling conditions, yes, Googling you symptoms, can find so many. trying to figure <laughs> out what is the thing that might be stopping you up in your health, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, again, you know, it, it, what worked for that author of that book that wrote that book is not, right. it worked, that diet worked for them, it's not necessarily going to work for you. Um, 
taking supplements that aren't suited for your body. So there's a lot of like different, you know, cleanses out there, for example, mm -hmm. um, different ways to go about restoring health. And uh, unless you know for certain that that's exactly what your body will want or work well with, then you're taking a gamble in terms of trying to figure out what might actually be helpful for your body. And sometimes mm -hmm. doing the wrong intervention, taking the wrong supplement can actually make your, system, your um, symptoms worse uh, and eventually create enough stress on your body to where things get worse in the long run. So mm -hmm. knowing the right supplement to take, knowing the right diet, um, taking health advice that's suited specific, specifically for you is really key. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember my dad. So we were very much a family of herbal remedies for everything. So mm -hmm. if I was sick, my dad would have me drink disgusting echinacea <laughs> tea. I had cod liver oil from a nasty bottle. Yeah. It was horrible. Back then it tasted like straight fish. It yeah. was disgusting. Yeah. But my father would always say, um, when you go to the you know health food store, and they give you something, he said, if you don't feel an effect, stop taking it. Yeah. If you just feel like you're just taking it to be taking it, that's a waste of your money and you don't want to be putting that in your body because your body doesn't need it. That's true. And I just remember my dad telling me that. And so anytime I feel like something isn't, you know, well, I don't take random supplements anyway, but when, when I was, you yeah. know, I would stop taking something if I realized, okay, this isn't benefiting me. Right. Right, and a lot of times, you know, in our pr uh, clinic, we're just backing up kind of what the already the intuition of the patient is. Yeah. Um, I have patients come in who say, I think that I'm done with XYZ supplement, and I'll verify that through the testing procedures, yeah. and a lot of times people are pretty right on. Yeah. So using your intuition as a, as a guide for that is, you know, definitely helpful, um, certainly, but getting the, the, you know, second opinion of a professional using the testing procedures can often be very yeah, helpful as well. Yeah, makes good sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So. Great. What's number four? Number four is not enough time to heal. Uh -huh. So this is a big one. You know, we live in the world where, you know, it's kind of like immediate satisfaction, gratification. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to health, what a lot of times people don't really account for is that the symptoms that they are having have been with them for a long time. And sometimes all the way through, you know, even to childhood yeah. in some uh, situations. So one of the things that can be stopping you up is that you just haven't been patient enough. Giving your body enough time to heal. You have to consider if you've been dealing with something for 30 years, mm -hmm. it's not going to resolve in a month. You know, um, And what we're doing in terms of health is we're really trying to restore health from the foundational level. Yeah. When you get to the basement of the house and you make things better there, then everything above it goes better over time. Oh yeah. Uh, so you know, investing in the foundation and working out the foundational level of your health is gonna pay dividends in the future mm -hmm. uh, when you, as you age and you know, as things uh, change in your environment, that kind of thing. So you really um, gotta give it some time in general. Okay. In our office, we're able to figure out, you know, through some additional testing, how long it might take someone to get through a foundational building of better health for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just going into it knowing that, um, you know, in good sense, uh, health is going to take, by the time you have a symptom, by the time your body is giving you that warning. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been, the symptoms are actually uh, your body's last ditch effort to say, hey, yeah. SOS, something's going on here and I need some help. Yeah. So, you know, giving, making sure that uh, you account for that is really important in your health and your healing journey in general. Good, okay. Yeah. So number five, what is number five? Number five is you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, okay. Right? So in, in the in world or in life, we kind of go around um, being pretty familiar with what we know right? Um, and sometimes what we don't know. So you go to the doctor, doctor says, hey, you've got, uh, we've got a lab work back for you and you've got some high triglycerides. You've got some markers on your blood work that are showing that, you know, your body's under stress. You've got yeah. some maybe inflammation going on. Um, and you're, you know, schooled enough to know, well, I don't think that's a good thing to yeah. have high triglycerides. It sounds bad. I don't really know what that right. means. Right. So, you know, your next question might be, well, what's the reason for me having, you know, my blood work being off or having high triglycerides? Uh -huh. and uh, your doctor might inform you a little bit about why that is and then you're probably going to go home and Google it uh, <laughs> and see what you can get on the internet about it, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, you go from not knowing what you, knowing what you, not knowing what you know, then knowing what you know, and but what you don't know that you don't know 
is that there's a reason why you're having high triglycerides right. in the you first place. You got there for a reason. You got there for a reason. And so in the terms of health, what we want to understand is that uh, there's a reason why your body would have gone down that path in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so what you really want to do to be successful is get to that root cause yeah. and really understand why it is that your body would be displaying some sort of a symptom or have some sort of imbalance going yeah. on. Uh, to where you would get to that point. And you know, when you don't know that you don't know something, is the best time to hire a professional. Yes. You know, somebody <laughs> that can see your blind spots kind of yeah. thing. Um, and through our process, the way we work with clients, we can uh, understand what those blind spots are. Yeah. Um, we get really to that level of detail and awareness um, based on the feedback we get through the testing. Nice. Yeah. So, what's one really great tip that people can use right now to take? better ownership of their health, take control of their health, do something that's gonna give them more energy or just feel a little bit better tomorrow. Great, well, you know, there's, gosh, there's a probably a ton of things that I could say to answer that effectively. And again, it really comes down to the person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I tend to not dole out like, you know, this piece of health advice is for everyone. Yeah. The, the point that I would really want people to take away from this conversation is that, it, there is no one global piece of advice that works for everyone. Yeah. So what you really want to get clear on is what's the specific needs of your body? What are the things that you need to be doing to address the imbalances mm -hmm. in your body? And so, you know, my advice essentially is, is to get clear on that, yeah. um, to really figure out, you know, what it is that your body needs help with. You know, like if your car broke down, you wouldn't take it, or you wouldn't take it to the backyard and start working on it, most likely, right? Um, but I might, I might play around. You might with try. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it, just if you didn't have all the women of yeah. networking, like extra stuff to do, plus yeah. your full-time job, then you might, yeah. Looking around, that. like I know yeah. what's going yeah. on in here. Um, but most of us, I know me certainly, would not try to right. figure that out. I would take it to a professional yeah. to get some help with that, oh. and you know. It, we, you know, in the world of what are the most important things, if you ask somebody what's one of the most important things in, to you, health is life. your health. Yeah, you yes. like, if you don't have your health, what do you have right. kind of thing. Um, but we tend to take that for granted and yeah. we will, you know, try to guess at things, try to use, you know, Dr. Google um, for free advice and, um, you know, it can be a little bit maddening. So hiring yeah. a professional to help you get in and figure out what is going on with your system, why that health issue is not resolving, what do you need to do. Yeah. Um, and man, there's nothing like getting back in the driver's seat with your health. When you have that ability, I mean, most people that are sick are, feel a loss of control and a loss of power when it comes to their health. And uh, being able to get back in the driver's seat, have be empowered with knowing what you need to do to keep yourself well for your future pays dividends. It extends to your husband, your, your spouse, whoever it might be, and your kids the rest of your family. So it's pretty good stuff, right? Beautiful. <laughs> well, take control of your health and thank you so much, yeah. Erica, for all of that amazing advice. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having <laughs> me.